Hello, dear viewer. Uh, the light's too strong for me, but maybe it's not too strong for you. Look at that beautiful face. Yeah. I'm getting a little bit annoyed because <laughs> I just had to edit a comment four times. I'm, I'm not going to show you my screen or my email or anything, but um, <clears throat> this gentleman posted a comment on one of my videos, one of my alt-right playbook live streams, one of the old ones, not the latest one. And his comment didn't make it through, and it didn't make it through because of a few particular words that he used. Now, I understand that some words may be offensive to some people, but here's the problem. If I go into my YouTube account right now, Right now, if, if I was just to go check the settings for commenting in my YouTube account right this second, it is set to allow all comments on all videos to break through. It is set to not hold any comments, period. <clears throat> I could check this again if I wanted to, but I don't have to. I've changed it, all of it. I want to make sure that none of the comments fall into that bucket where it's like, oh, the comment's gone. Poof, see ya, people can't talk. Now, I, I delete comments. I delete really, really stupid comments. But that's me choosing to delete comments. What makes me absolutely effing furious right now is that I had to take this guy's comment from my email, copy and paste it into my video. I'm commenting on my own video, okay? I had to edit it four different times to get the comment to stop vanishing. See, you can reload the video after 15 seconds and see if the comment still shows up, and that's how you know whether or not it actually broke through. If you just toggle, I used to be able to toggle between top and newest and back, and if I switched to top, I would see my comments at the top of the list. Um, that doesn't work anymore. You actually have to reload the entire page. But what, what's happening is YouTube is taking these comments that these people are trying to leave, and some of them I agree with and some of them I don't, and they're just making them go away. Curiously, I will get comments in my email, even if they don't break through. I will get an immediate email letting me know what nasty thing someone said that YouTube decided that I was too sensitive to handle. Well... It makes me angry. That's my choice, YouTube. I've, I've said it not to hold potentially inappropriate comments. I've said it not to hold comments, not to block comments. I said, let all of the comments, let them flow. If these people, if they really want to pee on my face, if that's what they want to do with their comment, if they want to call me fat and bald and middle-aged, which seem to be the most common insults these days, let them. Let them call me names. I want them to call me names. Every single moron who leaves me a comment that makes me sound stupid or whatever, that's engagement on my videos. I love it. It's great. But more than that, just let them talk. And if I want to delete it because I think what they said is just stupid and unproductive, that's my choice. But I don't get that choice. YouTube is making that choice for me. YouTube is making that choice for you. So this guy said, uh, Spurg. That's one of the words that he got censored for. And if I say enough words between them, then maybe YouTube won't get mad at me for saying them in a video. Uh, another one of the words that he used was cuck. You know, uh, a man who enjoys watching other uh, men sleep with his significant other. Um, and then blue-pilled all one word. <coughs> um, I, I had to rewrite these terms um, just to get it to post and it's ridiculous. I, I tried spacing them, I tried flipping characters, I tried all kinds of stuff. Ultimately I had to do all these little rewrites just to get the comment to post and the guy really didn't have a very caustic comment. Like He's putting these words in that are insulting but in the grand scheme of things, the words that he's chosen to put in really are not that bad. I mean, how many of you are, are genuinely offended to your core if someone calls you one of these words? How many of you? I just don't understand it. And it, it's not YouTube's place. YouTube, you give me this channel. 
okay? You give me this channel, and you tell me, here you go, have fun, you know, keep it within whatever the terms of service are, and other than that, you're good to go. Oh, and by the way, since you're past a thousand subscribers, you can put ads on your videos and chase off your audience, which I promptly did, of course. It makes me angry to no end that YouTube, despite opening all of this up and letting me choose checkboxes that say, don't hold back, let them be mean to me, that they're still treating me like an infant and preventing people from talking to me. Preventing people from coming here and saying what they want to say. And no, some people are mean. Some people are really mean. I've had comments where people have said things like, um, what was it? He said something like, fat people are genetically inferior or something. It's something ridiculous. Um, I'd have to scroll way, way back to actually find it because at some point I stopped nuking cameras. Uh, oh, here we go. Here's a good one in my email. Uh, Barry Baz says, Surprised you not break the lens with that face. You look like a white Trump nasty. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that I get. You know what, though? Uh, if I hit reply here and I go look, let's see, because I didn't care. Uh, that, that didn't come through, and I'm pretty sure I didn't delete that one. I'm pretty sure that one just didn't come through. Nobody... Um, it, it just didn't. It just... <laughs> I got an email letting me know. <laughs> Ironically enough, I got an email with the mean comment, but the mean comment's not actually posted publicly. So, yeah. Oh, look, it's the same person. Ah, I figured out where they came from. Um, they found my Ruth Bader Ginsburg video, and they said, Hardly. Only Trump's death would be good at this time. When I was talking about how Ruth Bader Ginsburg dying is good for America. Um... You need to go watch the video to understand that. I'm not saying that someone's death is wonderful. I'm saying that for the greater good of the country growing, it's good that she's out of her office, and death is the only way she'd leave. But, you know, that nuance is lost on some people. Anyway, they got mad at me and clearly went to my, my channel at one point because they were mad, found another video uh, so they could attack me personally. I don't care, man. Let these people post a comment saying that my face is ugly and I look like... Donald Trump or something. I don't care. I think it's funny, actually. This is hilarious. This guy, this guy is so pitiful that he did not have any argument. He had nothing but insults for me. I want those people to be able to leave their insults. It shows that they exist. It shows what kind of people they are. And it shows that those people cannot be trusted that you should not take them seriously. But if you don't let those comments break through, this is the same argument that's made for why you should platform Nazis and such, why you should let the KKK talk, why you should let Richard Spencer run his mouth publicly. Because when you do so, those people are there for you to point at, laugh at, and tell everyone else, that guy over there, that guy is stupid. That guy has bad ideas. Look at these ideas. The thing you're seeing... That is bad. You don't let this stuff break through and no one grows. Oh, here you go. This is embarrassing for you. That comment made it through. This is embarrassing for you. Made it through. Useless comment. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I don't... I don't know. Yeah, I don't... I don't see any more right now, but... Somewhere, if I go far enough back, I can find more people. There was a guy who said something really nasty about genetics. <sighs> anyway, the, that's neither here nor there. Look, the whole point of this impromptu live stream was that I had to re-edit a comment four times just to get it to post, and it really wasn't that offensive of a comment. There are so many worse comments out there that somehow make it through. The AI is dumb. It, I get that it gets smarter every day, but it, it makes so many mistakes. And when I check the box that says, let me be bombed with harassment. When, when I say, I'll take it upon myself to regulate my own channel, and if someone calls me horrible things, I'll deal with it. You should just let me deal with it. If I can't deal with it, I can go back in, I can check the box again, I can delete all their comments or turn them off on my videos entirely, I can suck on my pacifier in the back room for a while to soothe myself in my safe space and be done with it.
But I don't even have that option. YouTube thinks that it's my parent. YouTube thinks that I am not a fully grown adult who is capable of managing my own mind. YouTube thinks that if somebody says something mean that I'm going to cut my own throat. And that's just not a thing that's going to happen. Sadly, I know, I know some of you would love it if I would just shut up and that would be a quick way to make that happen, but it's not going to happen. Unfortunately, you all have to deal with me for a little while longer. But you can't insult me because YouTube won't let you. Don't you want YouTube to let you call me stupid things? Don't you want YouTube to let you hurl some pejoratives in my general direction? And, um, <clears throat> you know, maybe I could throw some pejoratives back at you. We could have a lovely time calling each other George Carlin's seven dirty words. And it would be hilarious. It would be funny to all of us. Someone would show up and get offended over the fact that we're allowed to call each other names. But I don't care about those people. Let them whine. It's just one more thing for people who aren't unreasonable to laugh at. So yeah, YouTube. <laughs> YouTube are the comment Nazis. YouTube is your nanny. And I'm tired of it. And that's it. Goodbye, live stream. I love everybody who's subscribed to this channel and who's watching this, and I hope you continue to. Um, I have some polls that I posted asking what kind of content you'd like to see in the future, uh, whether you prefer more content or less but much more polished content, and I'd love it if you'd go back through my community tab on my channel and answer some of those polls. Um, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Take care, and... Um, well, you know, this is the worst part. I hate ending videos. I'm so bad at ending videos. So, um, all the world's a stage, and I'm carrying a sledgehammer. I have no idea where I'm going with that. Like, smash the stage up, you know. Whatever. One of these days. I'm... All right. I got it. I got it. Here's how we're going to end the video. In light of that failed attempt at a joke, here's another one. If I was a bar of ice cream, I'd be a bad humor bar. Take care.